chit-chat and loves. I have lots of things to chat about and lots of things that I'm loving this week. Um, it's been kind of an interesting past couple weeks around here. Um, we've had a lot of changes, hence why on Snapchat I was really thinking I wouldn't get the chance to film this week. And lo and behold, it is happening. Um, <laughs> just lots of just lots of changes. Um, you'll see in tomorrow's video, I will introduce one of the changes to you very briefly, very briefly. Um, but you will see throughout the course of this next month, I eventually will have new furniture. I know I mentioned that it's coming, but now because of the more cur current change, my furniture delivery has been delayed till September. So I might have a beautiful background someday. Um, and then by the time it all gets nice and set up, we will be moving again. So just thank you so much for hanging in there with me through all these changes this year. As I said earlier, um, like back in May, it's just going to be... A crazy rest of 2016 basically um, it and into 2017 but anyways thank you guys for hanging in with me let's get into these loves before I chat your butt off so I've been really into just letting my hair literally air dry um, I'll wash it I'll use when cleansing conditioner and then I'll spray in a little bit of the volumizing mist and the serum and I'll put that through the ends but that's basically the extent of my hair routine lately it's very hot and humid outside I'm freezing inside but hot and humid outside um, and I have a little thing to go to this evening at the school so I didn't want to be too dolled up I'll probably end up throwing it up in a ponytail and call it good but I don't know how, how have you guys been styling your hair this summer because I basically have just been letting it air dry and roll with what happens. I kind of like it though. It's just kind of that effortless airbrushed, not airbrushed, but what is the word? Like the air makes curls kind of thing? Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> I'm a little off my rocker today and every day lately because I quite frankly am PMSing. Um, and so yeah, you know how you'd like, okay, anyways, I'm bloated. I want chocolate and um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. All right, so let's kind of delve into what I've been doing here. Um, pretty much the past couple weeks, I forgot to share this with you last week. I've been playing with my contour palettes. And I had kind of neglected these for a while, but since mom has put on a few pounds, I've been, um, you've probably noticed, don't lie. Um, I've been into the contour thing because, you know, um, too many donuts. I can't stop with the donuts, guys. I'm, I'm really struggling. <laughs> That's a whole nother video topic. But anyways, I've been into the contouring just because I'm re really enjoying a little soft contour in the cheekbone area. I've also been enjoying using these all over my face as eyeshadow, this, that, and the other thing. You know, when something's in your hand, you got a brush, and you got kids asking you a hundred things, you just keep going to town. You know what I mean? Just one and done kind of thing. So today I used the It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. And then I also have the Kat Von D Palette. Which one do I like better? Well, it depends. Um, I really like these two shades right here for contour for my personal skin tone. Um, I like that they're not too cool, but they're not too warm. I, I usually mix these two. This shadow I never touch. Um, I think I've used it once for eyeshadow, but clearly it's too dark. Um, and then this, this shade right here I use for bronzing. It's a little bit too orange for a bronzer unless you're self-tanned and then that, that, that's fine. But right now this is like, you know no tan tan um so i just do it ever so slightly ever so slightly but i basically love this palette for these two shades today i use this matte white shade to set my concealer and i think i also like set my t-zone area because i get a little oily up in here um sorry my bit i need a haircut too oh i need a haircut i need a pedicure i need a manicure Whew, you know i'm kind of falling apart here for a beauty channel um this highlighter is like white it's like frosting it's a little bit too bright I think for most skin tones but just a little tinge of that right here you know it, it, it's, a, it's a highlighter I mean it's great for going out if you want strobing situation um, but I like this palette basically for these two shades okay that being said of course when this first came out I had to buy it because I like the formulation of Kat Von D shadows and her powder products but you have to be careful with her uh, like for me me, I'll speak from my experience, with her eyeshadows because I can blend them away to nothing and I can blend them into a giant mud puddle where everything just looks muddy and messy, there's no color variation, like it's just brown. You know what I mean? You start out, you add all these colors and all of a sudden you have brown eyeshadow. Um, so I find that a little bit with this, basically meaning it blends very easily. You don't need to work with this. Don't be having a conversation with your two-year-old and going like this, blending back and forth, and because then all of a sudden it's gonna be like, well, where's my contour? You blended it away. So, once again, I like these two shades. I mix the two of them. Um, you know, and when I'm more self-tanned, I 
I feel like your contour shade can be a little bit different than when you're really fair. It can't be too warm or all of a sudden it just, it's, it's, it's bronzer, which is fine. I like the bronzer look for a contour as well, but I'm rambling. I do like this. Um, I don't usually use this peach shade too much unless I have more color because otherwise it's just too dark for my under eyes. I usually mix these two to set my under eyes because this one's a little too yellow, this one's a little too light. But I do like the, to mix these two shades to clean up the contour. You know what I mean? So, I've been enjoying these. These also, both these palettes work great as eyeshadow. They work great to travel with because you've got your, your bronzer, your highlighter, your setting powder, and your contour powder all in one. You know what I mean? So those are great. Been playing around with those a lot. Um, for my blush today, I've raved about these since the first time I bought one and then I went back to buy three more. The Lorac Buildable Blush in the shade Prism. This is matte. I decided to do kind of like a peachy, peachy blush today. These are so um, lovely. They're buildable, but I would say they give more pigment um, in one swipe than another blush that you would quote unquote deem buildable because it actually isn't very pigmented at all and you have to build and build and build. These I think are are pigmented on, the, on their own but you can build it up if you want to have clown cheeks. Um, <laughs> but this is just a couple swipes really. Um, this is a, a matte one. They do have a satin formulation which has a little bit of a sheen. There is the swatch of it right there. Just a beautiful true peach shade. Like a true peach shade. Um, not too warm, not too cool, just a great, great shade. Um, I love these. I have four. There's a few more that I want, of course. Um, but I, you can't go wrong with these. The packaging is so chic. I mean, and the price is right. These are not even... Sorry, my foot's falling asleep. I'm trying to figure out how high to make you guys so you don't have to look at my bed. But now I'm way down here. Ah, can't win today. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, I think these are around the $20 price point, which I think is I think is a fair price for the quality of the product that you're getting. All right, I dug out this palette this morning, and I actually did a get ready with me on Snapchat this morning. If you guys saw it, you probably recognize this whole situation, but um, I'll leave my, my Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram handles, and all that stuff below if you ever care to follow me elsewhere, because if I'm not posting a video, I'm still active elsewhere, so follow me there if you are really, really need to know what I'm doing or whatever. Just follow me. It's fine. Um, but basically, I used this palette this morning and did a get ready with me. Like, I didn't hold the camera and show you every shade that I did because I had a little boy driving cars and, <laughs> and you know, doing little boy stuff. But anyways, um, this is such a good palette. I actually think I did a look with this. If I did, I'll put that in a card or link that below too. I think I did. I don't know. This year's been such a blur. Um, but anyways, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. It's adorable. I really like the color selection in here. I personally, this week, and really for the past couple weeks, have been doing a lot of like taupey eyeshadow looks. And in the, I like taupey colors. Like today I did, um, well, I'll just show you. I did, um, well, I started out with a cream shadow base. Let me just grab it. I sharded, started, sharded, oh good lord. If I start doing that, then this video needs to end. Um, I started out with the Mally Cream Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Taupe. This is a nice color, actually. I've had this for forever. I bought this years ago on QVC in a kit. You know what? You should take a shot every time that I say that in a video. Try it. <laughs> um, you'll probably have a good time. Um, I love QVC. It's a great, it's a great place to try a new brand or, or an assortment of products. You know, all those kits. I've secretly always wanted to be a QVC host. I could sell you a garden hose and tell you why you need it. Um, maybe it's a hidden talent. I don't know. This is taupe. It's just a great all over shade. So I started out with this because I knew I wanted to do like peachy cheek, cool toned lip, cool toned eye. So I did that. Oops. That's not how you put the lid on. If you just saw what I did, you would be like, oh, good Lord, Chelsea. Um, and then I took Cashew Chew, which this is a great assortment of matte shades and, like, shimmery shades, which I appreciate, a palette. Um, I'm finding more and more as I've learned about makeup that if the palette doesn't have matte shades in it, it's almost worthless to me. Like, I don't want to buy a palette full of all shimmers because then I have to reach for something else. Thank you for putting some matte shades that are actually shades that you would use to blend out your eyeshadow, not just like a matte blue shade, because that's <sighs> not practical. Um, Cashew Chew, Almond Truffle, and Cafe 
how can I show you this without blinding you? I used these two matte shades in my crease and then this like silvery taupey color. I'll just swatch this. I don't know what is wrong with me today. On my lid. Ugh, just a very neutral look basically. But I didn't want my eyes to necessarily be the star of the show. So there's the uh, colors. I can't remember what they're called. I need a hair trim. Ugh, I hate when your bangs get long and they do like this. That's not cute. Neither is this. But I need bangs because this is not that cute either. It's like, oh, I should have put some hairspray in my hair. And then I took dark truffle, which is this dark, ooh, it's delicious. It's like a truffle. It's like a freaking, oh, I could go for a truffle. It's like a freaking truffle color. Like a chocolatey hint of mulberry. So basically that's my eye look right there. The dark chocolate colors and the outer V, the shinier color. Oh, my light's going crazy right now. I'm trying to figure out this whole lighting situation, but as you can see, I'm failing miserably. So if you're into these types of colors, I think you would really enjoy this. They do blend well. They do stay well in your eyes. I'm really, really happy with this palette. All right, I wanted to update you a little bit on the Ardency in Modster Eyeliner. I bought this in June and I like it. It's very creamy. It glides on, it doesn't tug. I have this on my, as my eyeliner today. I actually mixed it with something else, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I started out with something else and I decided it wasn't enough definition, so I added in a little bit of the black. Um, and I just remembered I was going to take some eyeshadow and smudge that out, but I forgot, so that obviously didn't happen. Um, but I do like this. Now, I've put this in my waterline, and I think it stays fairly well. I can tell you right now, the only thing that stays for the longest amount of time is the NARS Via Veneto, the NARS Larger Than Life Black Eyeliner. That's the only thing I've tried several eyeliners. In fact, um, before I moved, I went through an eyeliner purge, and I kept just the NARS eyeliner, and then I bought this one because I know a lot of people said they liked it. Um, I don't know which one's necessarily... It really just depends on your eyes. I, I mean, some people say they love this, they love this, and then you buy it and you try it and you're like, no, it moved in 15 minutes on me, you know? So you really got to give something a go for yourself, keep your receipt um, in case it doesn't work kind of thing. And so I, I put my stamp of approval on this. It's very creamy. It's very black. Very, very black. I do not like a black that's like a charcoal unless I want that. But if I want it to be black, please go to Lord give me a black eyeliner. Don't give me no gray based, blue based eyeliner because then over the course of the day it fades and you're like, what the heck? I didn't put blue eyeliner on today. You know what I mean? So anyways, I think it's fairly nice and I would recommend it. All right. The last thing I've done this week, well, not the last thing that I've done. I've done 150 things this week, which is why I'm like this. Um, lip combos. I've been playing with and writing down, keeping track of a lot of different lip combinations that I've been wearing lately and absolutely freaking loving. So I'm going to do next Saturday a Chit Chatter Day on all my favorite lip combos that I've been wearing lately. And this is one of them. This is Max Whirl Lip Liner. You need this. I don't usually tell you to force you to go out and buy something. If you don't have something similar, you might not know you're missing this. If you have something similar, then you'll be like, yes, that color is fantastic. This is Max Whirl. Now, I do not love this formula by any stretch of the imagination. However, I did eat lunch, and I did just go downstairs and eat a snack, and this lip liner did not move. So that, that's a bonus. But here's the color. It is like a mauve -y. Nah, not too mauve -y. Not too brown. I don't know. It's a great lip liner because it really just contours out and gives good shape to your lips. So it's this lip liner with the Dose of Colors Rosé Lip Gloss. Now, um, in my haul updates, sorry, I gotta move again. In my haul updates that I posted, summer haul updates, I talked about the Dose of Colors lipsticks. Do not recommend those. That showed and emphasized every little fine line in my lip. It settled and it, it just like, no, it was not a good formula. But these I do like. These glosses are very opaque. Here's the, it's a, it's the same kind of wand as the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills glosses where it's just, is this called a doe foot? No, because it doesn't have a foot. It's just like a stump. I don't know. It's thin, looks like this. Anyways, these are opaque. So this is not a gloss where it's going to be a topper. This is a gloss where it's going to give you coverage, color, and, glo and glossiness. 
This is a very cool toned pink, cool toned pinky mauve, I would describe it as. Um, my natural lip color is very uh, pigmented, so if I want to wear a cool toned gloss or a cool toned lipstick, it really needs to be cool toned because my lips tend to transform most things to become red. Um, so here is what it looks like on my hand. Here's what it looks like in that combo, and I just love it. I feel like my lips are full. It's a great kind of nude color. It's just like a wearable pinky color. Um, I love the definition that a dark lip liner gives you with a lighter color. That may not be everybody's thing, but you don't need to take your liner and draw a circle around your whole lips. In fact, my lips actually look like duck lips when I do that, and that is out of my comfort zone. That's not a look that I like to rock. I like to give definition up here and underneath here. So, all I know is that I love this lip combo, and you might need to get it sometime in your lifetime. It just makes my blue eyes pop, you know, I just, I love that about it. And I also love the contrast of a warm cheek with a cool eye and a cool lip. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've also been rocking no jewelry a lot lately, including my wedding ring, because first of all, um, since I've been eating so many donuts, my rings are a little tight right now, and that's really uncomfortable. I feel suffocated. Ah, it's like I just want to live in pajama pants. Um, and I don't know, I just, it's too hot to go for the whole nine yards with jewelry and curling your hair, putting on full slashes, like, it's legit a sauna outside, so I would literally be doing that just for this 15 minutes and then taking it off, and I just, I decided I can't go there right now. I will get all dolled up for you guys once the temperature cools down, I promise. Trust me, I miss it too, but I'm just like, like, I get boob sweat when it's so hot <laughs> and I just can't justify having all that extra crap to make me sweat even more and then you can see it and I'm doing this for you guys. I'm, I'm going a little more natural for you. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this craziness today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, please thumbs up this video. Let me know down below. Share with me what you've been loving this week. Share my video. Tell people to come here because we have so much fun. <laughs> At least I have so much fun and I love having you guys here. You guys just are the life of my day when you leave me all these super awesome comments. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow morning for Chit Chatter Day. Bye guys.